Hi folks, sorry if I didn't give you an update because I'm still sad and depressed about Hazen leaving me again. So he will go back to US and I will go back to the Philippines. So it's really sad for me. And we will be back to a long distance relationship. I know it's really sad and it's not easy to deal with this kind of relationship. It is easy for someone in a long distance relationship to get lonely and depressed when they have to spend significant time apart from their partner. Um, if you or your partner are in the situation that you may want to know how to deal with a long distance relationship and depression, it is a common for people in long distance relationship to report symptoms of mild depressions such as difficulty of concreting, general disinterest in things, difficulty in sleeping and feeling blue. Hi guys, so today is the saddest part. I want to go home. I know I didn't want to go home, but I need to because schedule. To America because uh, his part passport is near to expire and he need to renew it, right? So sad. I don't want to go home, but you know, sometimes we will that we will do the things we don't want to. So that's it. Accept the fact. Okay, we'll be LDR again. Tapi right. <laughs> Okay, he's in well. Take me to the airport, guys. And it's so sad to go home, but I need to for some reason. And he's in also need to go back to US to renew his passport because it's getting to expire. So that's it, guys. That's life. So Hazen took me to the airport of Vietnam, then I'll go back to the Philippines finally, but it's sad Hello. for me leaving, but we don't have any choice. <laughs> hey guys, I'm leaving Vietnam now and see you Philippines. It's hard to say goodbye to this beautiful country, but I need to. So I miss this, but what are we gonna do? I'll just probably go back here. <laughs> Look at my wig. <laughs> Hazen will take me to the airport. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. Now it's only 10 stops from here. Yeah, 9, I think. And we're here, guys. I will get my boarding pass. Took me here at the airport, Vietnam. I'm so sad. I got my boarding pass and my connecting flight. Oh, that kid's so cute. <laughs> While I'm on the plane, I spent my whole time in crying because I really missed Hazen. Um, the time that he left me in the airport, I missed him already. I know not all people will react to a long distance relationship in this way. Some people need the separation of the miles and note that it makes their time together all better. Some will miss their partners but still manage to stay above depression while others will not just be able to do so. There is of course a difference between missing your partner and feeling a little bit sad it and depression. You can even cry about it and still not be depressed. It is true that even close distance couples get sad when they have to be apart from their partner. But I always think about happy moments together and I know he needs to go back to US because he's thinking about my future too and our future together. Um, I know the real glow that holds it all together is communication so we will not going to forget about uh, having a video call every day because I know that communication is the key in every relationship whether it's a long distance a close distance romantic relationship or platonic relationship they all work better when people have communication of course we will not going to mess every day we will call chat we will do a video call as always but it is very different if you are going to interact or to talk with that person in person So hi guys, sorry if I didn't take a video of my arrival from my flight from Vietnam to Manila because you know I'm still sad and right now I will be having my connecting flight. I will on the plane again from Manila to the Maggette. So on the other side I'm at this moment I think I'm okay a little bit and I also met a friend of mine by chance and he's living, he's from Mabina too, living in um, near to our barangay so we're in neighborhood <laughs> and here our flight is from Toma I mean Manila to the Maggette So it still really hurts for me guys even if I don't want to leave and I don't want to be uh, far away from Hazen again but I don't have any choice and I need to because life is not always about travel or having a vacation Hazen has a life too in, in US so I need to go back to the Philippines too and then you know focus about my plan so that in the future I have something to have. So that's it. So it's just uh, very sad when you met the person but he's living on the other side of the world. I think, you know, when I think about it, it feels like it's unfair. But I'm looking forward to meet him again next year. So I'll focus on the things I really want to do in my life right now. I'm hoping that, you know,
sad to be far away from Hazen again, but I know everything, you know, the distance is just temporary. So I'm thanking God and I thank Hazen also for giving me a great experience, uh, for taking me in Vietnam. We had a really good time together, but it's just really sad when going back to the Philippines. But I'm just hoping that next year you will come visit here again and, you know, we'll not be, we'll not be far away from each other again. So this feels really sad and it really kills my my heart. But I will just always pray to God that He will guide me and He will guide me too. And I hope, you know, I will that after this uh, long distance relationship again, there's no long distance anymore. I always pray to God to protect Hazen and everything he do. And I'm just asking his guidance and to bless Hazen even more. So that's it guys. Bye bye. See you in my next update.